there. My name is Aaron, and I'm the guy who makes spaceships and other things out of everyday junk. This week, I set myself a challenge. Could I build, paint, and edit a video together before 3pm Sunday? With the time now at... A little after 8pm on the 12th of April, I've probably 55 hours to do this, but if you take away 24 hours for my beauty sleep, that leaves me with 31 hours left. Now take out breakfast, lunch and dinner, um, and I'm looking at around about 23 and a half hours. Hmm, could I do this? Shall I do this? There's only one way to find out. Let's start scratching that build. Alright, ladies and gentle germs, I'm going to build my version of Starbug from the TV show Red Dwarf. Google it if you don't know what I'm talking about, as I'm on a deadline here. This green plastic ball is going to be the back end of it, um, so I just need to cut out... Wacka wacka, wacka 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 wacka, oh nobody watched that video. As I was saying, uh, the back end of Starbug is, it has half of uh, the back uh, cut out. Um, why would uh, anything be simple on this build since I'm on timeline? Uh, this is for the engines, so I just need to cut this out and then um, get it all patched up. Uh, this video has been um, requested quite a few times, or this build has been requested uh, quite a few times from the uh, uh, my English uh, followers. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing, liking and sharing the video, because, uh, you know, every little helps. So as you can see, uh, this is not a ball at the moment, it's uh, four halves, uh, like little segments. So I'm just going to have to glue all this together and then get some very thin styrene to cover the gaps that I cut out of the plastic. Here is the aforementioned styrene. It's uh, probably about one millimeter, two millimeter thick. It's very thin. Uh, just what I need to cover up the gaps for these two segments of the ball once eventually I get it all sorted. So I'm just gonna cut it all down to shape and then uh, stick it onto the green plastic. My apologies if this video seems a little frantic. It's now 11 p.m. on Friday evening. I'm kind of tired, it's been a long day, um, but I came up with the genius idea of putting everything into the video editor, what I've filmed already, and try to do the voiceover for it, and also edit the clips that I'd filmed. So I'm just going to try and finish this segment off um, and get it stuck onto the main ball and call it quits for tonight and then start back again tomorrow morning which will be Saturday around about 9am in the morning. And wouldn't you know it, this was the most fiddliest bit of the entire build. Um, took ages to try and get this bloody styrene to stick onto the actual plastic um, so yeah I'll just speed forward and uh, call it a night because it's coming up close to midnight morning peeps so the plastic didn't fall off which means we're on to the second bit of Starbucks body yeah okay I didn't wake up till 9 a.m. but I took the cat for a walk did the gym sorry what's that Okay, okay. I dragged my lazy ass out of bed, drank coffee and read the papers instead. Okay, that's the first problem of the day. That red bit isn't sticking to the green bit, so I'm going to try some hot glue. Come on, turn on. Turn on. T oh no, I didn't charge my hot glue gun. Yep, that was a schoolboy error. Um, now normal professionals would have a backup uh, hot glue gun. Mine's broken, so I'm just reduced to one hot glue gun that has to be recharged every night. And I was that tired I forgot to recharge it. And judging by this, I don't think this is going to stick either. Tell you what I'll do, if I mash it together, then go round the seam with some super glue and some baking soda. That should seal the bond. Okay, so while that is just uh, 
laying to rest and hopefully sticking together it's on to the front bit now the front bit uh, I noticed that the uh, front ball is slightly in uh, to the second ball I, I know what I'm talking about he says confidently so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some um, bottle caps from various things from like milk bottles and juice bottles and just to try and make a hole in the last of the uh, bottle caps to then uh, make the ping pong ball that I'm going to use for the front end of the spaceship just slightly uh, depressed is that depressed no I'm depressed making this video no that's the wrong term let's just let just keep watching what every scratch builder should have in their arsenal of bits and pieces is some baking soda or baking powder or bacon powder and that's confused an awful lot of people in my past comments it is, is actually called baking soda or baking powder but um, there's a friend of mine that used to say bacon powder or it sounded like he said bacon powder anyway I'm going to be using that to put that in there look you see I've depressed the ball into the juice lid I still can't remember what word it is I man I am so tired anyway uh, hot glue uh, into the lid and then I'm going to push the other lid with the ping pong ball into that lid and then stick it on to the other two bits to make the actual spaceship when this video is finished I might watch it with the comments or with the uh, text to speech on just to see what it's going to say because I think it's going to be making an awful lot of words up because it won't understand what the hell I'm talking about even I don't understand what I'm talking about but there's the front end of Starbug job done okay it's cold word time if you've made it this far without losing your mind or not being confused like I am uh, leave this comment um, which is on screen so I know that you got this far without skipping. And also like and subscribe. Thanks very much. Now, beads. Going to use the beads for the um, bits at the side. I'm also going to be using Kinder Eggs, which I know is banned in uh, some certain countries. Uh, still not banned here. And uh, I saw my uh, Kinder Egg pimp the other day, so I'm fully stocked up. So if nobody's seen a Kinder Egg, basically it's uh, an egg-shaped chocolate that you crack open, revealing this um, plastic cylinder, that then you open this plastic uh, cylinder to reveal a choking hazard, basically. The choking hazard could be anything from a toy car to a little figurine or something like that. Anyway, they really are fun. Um, I use a lot of these uh, uh, containers and that's what I'm going to use for, this, uh, for the legs. Basically, I'm just going to stick four of them onto uh, the Starbuck uh, main body. I think luck was on my side when I put the side bits on because um, everything was sort of square and neat. So what I'm doing now is putting some beads on and then I'm going to use some Q-tips uh, for the... Oh, please stick on, stick on, stick on. Stick on, stick off. Stick on, stick off. I think I'll use some baking soda for uh, just to strengthen the joints of these uh, plastic to the beads. Okay, the baking soda worked. Um, it stuck the beads to the uh, Kinder Egg um, uh, bits. Uh, so now it's the legs, which means it's Q-tip time. Q-tips are the things that you, uh, the pointy things that you stick in your ears. I've just chopped off the cotton bits at uh, either end, and uh, I'm just gonna bend them round and then um, stick them into the beads. Okay. I had to have a break because uh, I was feeling a bit woozy. Anyway, I'm back and I'm uh, now going to make some feet for Starbug out of Styrene. Just going to chop up some bits, uh, make them sort of like squarish. <laughs> With my measurements, nothing square and uh, stick the q-tips into the um into the feet and then stick the feet onto starbucks main body to help strengthen the pointy bits uh on the feet i'm going to use some of these small little beads 
um, if I can get them just to stay on the table. I'm going to be using the beads. Oh, everything's going wrong. Anyway, um, the pointy bits get stuck into the hole and then the beads get stuck uh, around the pointy bit. I am actually amazed that um, I got all my calculations and uh, measurements correct. Yeah, no, I'm joking. This was pure luck that um, the uh, legs actually um, all fitted properly and it wasn't wonky. Um, now, I will be bending the uh, pointy sticks in a bit just to lower down Starbug, but for now, Starbug has feet. And I'm using plastic straws because I like the ridges on these plastic straws, and I'm just going to use them to put around the bottom of the feet of Starbug. And there you go, there's the uh, plastic uh, bit of from the straw that's around uh, Starbucks feet. And as you can see, I've also bent them slightly so it's um, sitting lower down uh, like it should be. Now I'm putting sunglasses on the front of the um, spaceship. If anybody bothered to actually Google what Starbucks looked like, they'd notice that there was vents at the back of the um, engines. Um, so I'm just going to use this fidget toy, cut it down and use these as vents. Now it's not going to be accurate, accurate, but it's going to be my version of Starbucks. So these are vents to me. I couldn't find anything else that could actually uh, do what I wanted this bit to do. So this fidget toy will have to do. Um, yes, it doesn't look the same as what Starbucks vents look like. But, you know, this is a scratch build at the end of the day. So you've got to make with what you've got in your arsenal of bits and pieces. I noticed uh, the actual uh, Starbuck has uh, an inverted sort of circle. I can't do that with this ping pong ball, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use uh, this, which is the innards from a, a like Lego. Uh, just going to stick that on the front, and then uh, I'm going to go and start the back. Uh, was going to use these bottle caps, but uh, decided to use the last of the Kinder eggs that I was using. Um, so these are going to be the actual jet engines. So I'm just going to get them stuck onto the back. To make them less Kinder Egg uh, looking, I'm just going to cut uh, a little bit of uh, styrene. This is probably around 5 mils. Um, just cut them into strips and then stick them all the way around the edge of the Kinder Egg to make it look like it's some sort of engine with engine flaps, guards, whatever. I don't really know what it's called. So there's the engines going onto the back of Starbug. Now it's starting to look like a proper spaceship. To cover the hole that was in the back of the plastic, um, I'm just going to use this, which I do not know where it's from, but I just thought it would look cool on the back, just like another smaller exhaust or engine sort of thing. And then it was just to greebly up the um, the um, inside of the uh, back of uh, Starbuck. So I just used bits and pieces from different model kits just to give it that sort of like little bit of interest. To break up the roundness of uh, Starbuck's uh, body, I just went around and just added little greeblies here and there. Nothing uh, too much, just little bits. Um, and then once all that was done, I needed to make wings for um, Starbug. I cut out a wing from Styrene, uh, made two of them, uh, sanded it down, shaped it a little bit, and then just stuck it to the back of Starbug. And then I went for a break because my head's spinning. Okay. So I'm back and there is Starbug, uh, all primed up, ready to prime. I ran out of grey, typical. Um, so hopefully uh, I'm going to use two different greens. Um, just to try and patch everything up. Uh, once this is done, then it'll be in with a few little details. And then it is the glamour shots. So it is now looking at the clock. 10:45 p.m. I think I've done this. All I need to do is basically 
the detailing, uh, the glamour shots, I've got to film them and then patch this video together and get it out for tomorrow at 3pm. So um, yes, you can scratch build something within 24 hours. Um, look, I hope you liked the video. Sorry it was a bit rushed, but I just wanted to try and challenge myself, do something different. Hope you like Starbug as much as I enjoyed building him in the end. And uh, next to the glamour shots, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Uh, and until next time, keep scratching that build everybody. Thanks for watching.